Chapter 4. My Favorite Pet It was Labor Day, a no-school day. Judy looked up from her meat collage on the dining room table. We need a new pet, Judy announced to her family. A new pet? What's wrong with mouse? asked mom. A mouse opened one eye. I have to pick my favorite pet. How can I pick my favorite when I only have one? Pick mouse, said mom. Mouse is so old and she's afraid of everything. Mouse is a lump that purrs. You're not thinking of a dog, I hope, said dad. Mouse jumped off the chair and stretched. Mouse would definitely not like that, said Judy. How about a goldfish, asked Stink. Mouse rubbed up against Judy's leg. Mouse would like that too much, Judy said. I was thinking of a two-toed sloth. Right, said Stink. They're neat, said Judy. She showed Stink its picture in her rainforest magazine. See, they hang upside down all day. They even sleep upside down. You're upside down, said Stink. What do they eat? asked Dad. It says here they eat leafcutter ants and fire-bellied toads, Judy read. That should be easy, said Stink. Tell you what, Judy, said Dad. Let's take a ride over to the pet store. I'm not saying we'll get a sloth, but it's always fun to look around. Maybe it'll even help me think of a five-letter word for fish that starts with M for my crossword puzzle. Let's all go, said mom. When they arrived at Fur and Fangs, Judy saw snakes and parrots, hermit crabs and gulpies. She even saw a five-letter fish word beginning with M, a black molly. Do you have any two-toed sloths? She asked the pet store lady. Sorry, fresh out, said the lady. How about a newt or a turtle? Asked dad. Did you see the hamster? Asked mom. Never mind, said Judy. There's nothing from the rainforest here. Maybe they have a stink bug, Stink said. One's enough, said Judy, narrowing her eyes at Stink. They picked out a squeaky toy mouse for a mouse. When they went to pay for it, Judy noticed a green plant with teeth sitting on the counter. What's that? She asked the pet store lady. A Venus flytrap, the lady said. It's not an animal, but it doesn't cost much, and it's easy to take care of. See these things that look like mouth with teeth? Each one closes like a trap door. It eats bugs around the house, like flies and ants, that sort of thing. You can feed it a little raw hamburger, too. Rare, said Judy Moody. Cool, said Stink. Great idea, said Mom. Sold, said Dad. Judy set her new pet on her desk, where the angle of sunlight hit it just right. Mouse watched from the bottom bunk with one eye open. I can't wait to take my new pet to school tomorrow. For share and tell, Judy told Stink. It's like a rare plant from the rainforest. It is? Stink asked. Sure, said Judy. Just think. There could be a medicine hiding right here in these funny green teeth. When I'm a doctor, I'm going to study plants like this and discover cures for ucky disease. What are you going to name it? He asked Stink. I don't know yet, said Judy. You could call it Bughead, since it likes bugs. Nah, said Judy. Judy watered her new plant. She sprinkled grow fast on the soil. When Stink left, she sang songs to it. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. She sang till the old lady swallowed a horse. She still couldn't think of a good name. Rumpelstiltskin? Too long. Thing? Maybe. Stink, she called. Go get me a fly. How am I going to catch a fly? asked Stink. One fly, I'll give you a dime. Stink ran down to the window behind the couch and brought back a fly. Gross, that fly is dead. It was going to be dead in a minute anyways. Judy scooped up the dead fly with the tip of her ruler and dropped it into one of the mouths. In a flash, the trap closed around the fly, just like the pet store lady said. Rare, said Judy. Snap trap, Stink said, adding sound effects. Go get me an ant, a live one this time. Here's one, a real beauty. Here, Auntie Auntie. No way. Snap trap. Herp. Stink wanted to see the Venus flytrap eating again, so he got his sister an ant. Snap trap, said Judy and Stink when another trap closed. Double rare, Judy said. Stink, go catch me a spider or something. I'm tired of catching bugs, said Stink. Then go ask mom or dad if we have any raw hamburger. Stink frowned. Please, pretty please, with bubblegum ice cream on top, Judy begged. Stink didn't budge. I'll let you feed it this time. Stink ran to the kitchen and came back with a hunk of raw hamburger. He plopped a big glob of hamburger into an open trap. 
That's way too much, Judy yelled. But it was too late. The mouth snapped trapped around it. Hamburger oozed out of its teeth. In a blink, the whole arm drooped, collapsing in the dirt. You killed it. You're in trouble, Stink. Mom! Dad! Judy called. Judy showed her parents what happened. Stink killed my Venus flytrap. I didn't mean to, said Stink. The trap closed really fast. It's not dead. It's digesting, said Dad. The jaws will probably open by tomorrow morning, said Mom. Maybe it's just sleeping or something, said Stink. Or something, said Judy.